What's up YouTube? Lucky Tattooing here again with another little update of my horror collection. We are getting things good and going now. So I'm excited about it, getting the room going. Wanted to kind of update you one more time, show you what we've got going on. I'm going to briefly take you through and kind of tell you about these masks and stuff that I've got, or the bus that I've got. So this is my little creep show section. As you can see, i got Fluffy here. That came from Death Studios. And then we got Mr. Nathan. This is a Chris Russell piece uh, from Twisted Toy Box. And then this one is just awesome. Uh, you saw this one in my last video. This is our Jordy. Uh, this is Andrew, Andrew Santagato. Andrew Santagato. Pretty cool name. <laughs> anyway, showed you my lunch boxes last time. I've added a few new things since then. I ended up getting these uh, plush figures. These are Funko plush figures. I've got the whole set of these. So those are pretty neat. And you'll see the rest of them here in a second. I ended up getting a Pennywise acid burn. Love that bust. And then I got a big Texas Chainsaw Massacre piece. And then I've got these. Um, these are actually really cool. We've got Flat the Impaler, um, our uh, Jack the Ripper, just just really cool pieces. Ended up with a set of those. A Rob Zombie section. Got our Pinhead stuff going on. Sam from Trick or Treat. Couple Spawn things, and then our Essential Horror Movies collector's book. Uh, got my Pan's Labyrinth photo framed. It's really cool. And then I brought this back from my tattoo studio. It was hanging in there in my booth, and I was like, ah, I need this at home. So it says, in case the zombies break glass. Love that. You've seen the Mad Bowls. Got the whole set of those guys. Really cool looking. Our Nightmare on Elm Street 3 Dream Warriors. Huge Freddy. Uh, my Creature from the Black Lagoon. That's an elusive concepts piece. Pretty cool. That's another one of my plush guys. I ended up uh, hooking up with somebody online uh, on one of the sites that I get on and we found this Halloween. It's got the VHS tape and the snow globe. If you can see that, my light's kind of on there. A really cool little piece. Tells from the dark side. Mr. Potato Head. <coughs> or it's a Freddy Tater Head. Maybe. Anyway. Uh, our side shows. So my side show, I got the part six here. You can see that. It's pretty neat. Then we've got our part seven and our part two right here on the right. Now I've got the final chapter book opened up. My Clockwork Orange. This thing is really cool. Um, this finger thing. My wife actually played a game with me. Uh, I didn't know it was for my birthday. And it's called uh, Mystery Package. So I, I started getting all these really crazy letters in the mail talking about I have a family in like Cambodia or something and they wanted to send me the last thing that they were working on. They were scientists. Yada, yada, yada. Anyway, at the end of the game, you get a souvenir. And this is it. And it was really cool. I love that. I uh, got the big Freddy plush figure. My Freddy glove. My game leather face. The Gremlins. And I got the two Gremlin pop with the uh, two film collection on uh, Blu-ray. This was pretty cool. I found that at FYE. So then we go over here. Got all kinds of good stuff for you guys. Got some uh, TCM figures. And this is our pinhead blank that came from Ruby's Costumes. And there's my Michael plush figure. Uh, and then I ended up getting the 10 disc Halloween complete collection. My gremlin here, it's the flasher. He's seen better days. His arm fell off. Not sure what happened, but I got to fix him up, um, get that piece in there and get him set up right. We'll be good to go on that. So, before I show you what I just mainly set up, here we go. With the, uh, the Freddy vs. Jason, that's the MMFX. And then there's my plush for him. Uh, setting up, I got hockey mask out the ass. I need to actually set these guys up somewhere and figure those out, but I got the Friday 13th. All eight deluxe edition DVDs. I actually got that at like Fred's. For some reason they had it there. My Nightmare on Elm Street, it's seen better days, but I've had it for a long time, so I kept it. Um, I was out the other day and I actually saw 
there was a guy on the side of the road and he was like hey man i got comic books i'm moving so i've got a few comics if you're interested and i was like uh yeah you have anything horror and this is what he had really nice comics i went ahead and got these draculas for me and then i found these alien got dallas and ash they were in a bargain bin at books a million then i found a nightmare on m street that's a NECA. Really cool piece there. And that's a Toys R Us exclusive. And of course, I have my pictures hanging up. And my Freddy glove. And then here we go. I've got my pop collection. It's grown. And I've still got some more stuff on the way that I couldn't find in store, so I actually had to order. But then I hung another shelf today. And I was really excited. Bam. There are my Jason Butts. These guys are up here hanging all in one place. So I got my part one, that's MMFX. My part two, that's Night Owl. My part three, that's an MMFX. My part four, which is a Night Owl. I need a five. So I'm gonna have to build a bigger, bigger shelf. But I got the part six, that's a Creation X. This is a, uh, the seven is a devil's latex and I got a mask for him. I just need to put it on there and I still got to clothe some of these. I don't, I don't like them without the clothes. So I'm going to work on that. Uh, my part eight, which is Manhattan Mauler. I'm not exactly hundred percent sure who made this mask. I just heard it was Manhattan Mauler. That, that's what my buddy told me. So, uh, our Jason X, which is a scareware. And then the, um, the 2009. So you got your 2009, that's a night owl. And then our uh, Jason X, which is quick, the scare wear. <laughs> and then my Freddy versus Jason, like I said, that's MMFX. These guys do a great job. Just just kill it on these masks. The details, I love it. Freddy versus Jason, that's one of my favorite looks. <clears throat> so I'm excited to have these. Um, really excited about how the collection's growing. Like I said, I've still got stuff on the way. So, thumbs up if you like the collection, you want to see more. And uh, in the comments, man, give me suggestions. If you guys want me to go into detail on any more of my items, where I'm picking this stuff up at, what daily life is like, horror hunting or tattooing, whatever, man. Just guys, let me know what you want to see a video on, and I will try to do it. Uh, anyway, I just wanted to kind of briefly go through here show you what we had going on show you what it's shaping up to be and uh let you check out the new collection thank you guys for watching please like and subscribe